Welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our brand new paper collection, Let's Polka in the Dark. This is the latest in our Let's Polka series, and you can see that we have five new awesome colors in the, both the 12 by 12 and the 6 by 6. So let's go ahead and check these colors out. Here we have the Werewolf Polka, which is an awesome kind of charcoaly dark gray. And we have two sides of polka dots on each paper. This is Frankenstein Polka. And once again, we have the two dots, just like all of our other Let's Polka collections. Then we have Wicked Witch Polka, and this is my favorite kind of purple. It's so gorgeous. Then we have Jack-O-Lantern Polka. This is a really fantastic orange. And then we have Dracula Polka. Then this time we have all of the colors in the stripes. In previous Let's Polka collections, we hadn't done the stripe in all the colors. This time now there are 10 papers in this collection, which means that each color gets both a polka and a line dance, which is awesome. So we just saw the werewolf. Now this is Frankenstein now with those cute hearts on the back. Wicked Witch line dance. This stripe is just so versatile. I, I use it all the time and the hearts are just so sweet. We have the jack-o'-lantern line dance and the Dracula line dance. Now what's really great about this collection is these colors all together are perfect for fall and Halloween. You can really mix and match them together like the orange, purple, and green together or the orange, purple, and gray. Really mix and match and have fun, but one of the things we did when we designed this collection is we made sure to include a red and a green. And that means that this fall collection will last you through Christmas too. So I just love that. I love that it's a fall collection, but it's going to last all the way through Christmas, which is so cool. And then there you can see just some more mix and match fall combos with this collection. Now here is the six by six pad for Let's Polka in the Dark. And I wanted to show a comparison between the 12 by 12 paper and the six by six paper. And you can see that the design is reduced by about 50%. And so I actually love having both the 12 by 12 and six by six, depending on what my project is. Something I want, sometimes I want something super tiny. And then sometimes those large dots are really fun too. So now you can see that we have all of the colors and two, the two different sizes of polka dots. And now our Dracula paper. And then we will move in to the line dance papers. And so here I wanted to show you a comparison again that the 12 by 12, so you can see the size difference. So there you can see that one. And then the hearts, you can see the difference between those two. And then in this paper, we then have all the colors in the six by six pad in both the stripe and the hearts. Now what's really great about this six by six pad is that it has 40 sheets, which means it has two of each design. So you'll see here as we pass by the Dracula that the whole pattern starts again. So you actually have all of the designs again, which means you can use them on a ton of projects. I thought it would be fun to create a Halloween banner. So I'm using our Stitch Party Banner dies, and this is the smallest one in the collection, and our new Pika Bat die. And so the Pika Bat actually fits perfectly on this banner, and so you can see how cute those little faces are. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut out the wings for Pika Bat too. Now I'm using super strong adhesive because I want this banner to last a long time. And I'm going to put some black behind the face of the bat. That way the little face really pops. There you can see that from the striped paper. Now the bat wings are a little bit too short for this little banner, so all you have to do is just cut them in half and then you can separate those wings out and have them be the perfect size for the banner. So I'm just going to fold at the score lines that the bat wing die creates, just like that. And then I can add it to my little banner and now the wings look like the perfect size. So I'm just making some little tick marks exactly where I want the wings to be. I'll add some adhesive to my little wing pieces and now I can line it up with that tick mark so the edge of the banner will go right into the fold of the wing and line up perfectly just like that. And then I can erase my little tick marks and then now add the wing to the other side and do it for both bats so you can see how cute those little bat banners are. Now. 
Next, I'm going to use that same banner die and cut from the Wicked Witch line dance, and I'm going to cut three of them. And then I'm going to use a two inch size stitch circle from our stitch circle dies and some of the werewolf polka for this. And so I'm going to cut out three of those to layer right on top of my little banners. And now I'm going to use Finley's ABCs and cut from some orange fun foam. This is just that like cheap fun foam stuff from the craft store that's for kids projects, but I love making letters out of it. Now I really wanted these letters to pop, so I'm just brushing on some glue onto the letters and layering two of them so that they're really tall. Uh, and this is just a cheap like Crayola little paintbrush thing and so I just use that that way the glue wouldn't mess it up too bad and I just didn't want to get too much glue on there so I thought the paintbrush would make it easier. Now I'm going to add the circle with some foam dots and I'm lining the banners up like that on my mat so I can make sure that my circles end up in the same place on all three of my banners. And then now I'm going to take some of our brand new black tie lawn trimmings. I love it. It's black and white, super classic and fun. And I'm just going to thread through my bat, my three purple banners, and then my other bat at the very end. So I'll just thread that right through and right through that bat. And I'm going to leave really long tails at the end. That way when I go to hang it up in the house, I'll have plenty of space to tie it up. And then now I'm going to add glue to the back of it the same way and put it on the banner. And I'm using a little trick I always see Nicole do, and that's put some heavy acrylic blocks on the letters to let them dry. And then now you can see my cute little banner all done and ready to put on my mantle. I just love how it turned out. Those letters just pop off that gray and purple, and I think it's just too cute. So this is Let's Polka in the Dark. I love this new version of Let's Polka. The colors are gorgeous. They're perfect for fall, and that red and green will take you all the way through Christmas too, which is awesome. And the six by six pad is so fun with the smaller designs. I cannot wait to see what you guys create with this collection, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching, and have an amazing day. Bye.